Hello everyone, welcome to Tech TVA. Many of our friends are asked to talk about Exadata Health Check. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to perform the health check of various Exadata components along with its commands and everything. Let's get started. Let's look at various scenarios where you needed to perform Exadata Health Check apart from the daily health check. First one is about whenever you have some availability issues like a compute instance or a storage server being offline or it is untraceable due to network or port down. Sometimes the services like a OA service or a database service can go down. And then the storage disk can be going to an offline mode where it is not accessible. And then you might has have a power down scenario at the data center. The second is about any hardware or a software failures where you needed to replace the hardware component or apply some patches. Then you will have a performance issues due to slow disk or uh, OS level like a CPU or memory kind of issues. And then there could be some recent changes that un underwent into the system where you needed to roll back. The last is about the scheduled maintenance activities like Exadata patching and uh, Exadata reboot, etc., where you needed to perform a health check before and after the activity. Now let's look at the various components where you needed to perform the Exadata health check. As you are aware, the Exadata is a stack of multiple components, be it a database server, uh, which is a computer instance, and then you have a storage server, and then you have InfiniBand network and the other components like Ethernet switches, power PDUs, and etc. So the issue can be arise at multiple layers, be it a database, or it can be happen at ASM or a cluster server, and then it can happen at computer instance. And then it can happen at uh, cell servers and the InfiniBand or the Rocky switch, is, which is a new switch type of Xerata X8 item. And then we also have an Ethernet switch and then the power distribution unit, which is a PDU. Xerata is redundant at all layers. So failure of one particular component will not result in any of your outages. But still, you have to know which is the component you will have to check in order to resolve the issue much faster. First, we will check what are the uh, database and ASM level cluster where we'll check we need to perform to resolve the issue. In the database, uh, whenever you have any issues, you can check uh, for the particular processes like a PMON or the SMON. And then you can also check uh, the alert logs for the corresponding uh, errors. And then you can check uh, the database services uh, either through SRV CTL or uh, the CRS CTL where you can get uh, the glimpse of uh, the services that are running. And very important is the AWR and ADDM reports because sometimes there could be some performance issues or the connectivity issues uh, which will be reported in the AWR and ADDM metrics like uh, the slow response uh, from the disk or whatever it is. So it is always important to check uh, the storage metrics that is uh, reported in the AWR and ADDM reports. And then you can also check uh, the database uh, parameters that corresponds to the Xerata uh, like uh, cell offloading and the smart scan, etc. And then you can check uh, the user accounts as well as the database patch history. Same way in the ASM, you can check the processes as well as the uh, cluster where alert lock. And then you can check uh, the resource status in CRS CTL and uh, check for the scan listener and the various listeners uh, that are running on the system. And then, uh, you know, check for the ASM parameters as well as the patching history of the grid and database. So next we'll move on to the compute and the cell nodes, which is a storage server. So the first thing you need to check is the ping and the SSH response uh, of the compute and the cell nodes uh, from the other system. So you can check uh, if the system is up and running. And then you can also check uh, the services that are running, be it uh, SSHD service or the network. You can also check uh, the various changes that underwent into a system like uh, system patching and everything through image info and image history command which will report to the current uh, image version, uh, the Xerata versions and everything. And then uh, in the database server, uh, you have uh, DBM CLI, which is a command line interface to give uh, various metrics about uh, the database server. So you can log in through DBM CLI and then you can just type uh, list DB server detail, which will give you the various metrics uh, about uh, the DB server that includes the battery backup unit, etc. And then you can also type uh, L list alert, alert history, which will give you the recent alerts that are reported in the database server. Same way for the storage server, you have a cell CLI, 
which is a command line interface to report any issues with respect to the storage server. So you can log in through cell CLI using a cell CLI command and then list cell detail which will give you all the details about cell server that includes the uh, process status like RS and uh, MS uh, processes etc and the, how long the system is up and running and is there any issues with respect to the cell or not. And the list alert history command will give you an output of the recent alerts that are reported in the cell server. Next we need to look at uh, the performance metrics of a computer and a storage nodes which is a CPU or the memory where you can check uh, the top command or in case if you are using a virtualization then you can check uh, Zen top which is a XM virtualization top command. And then you can also check uh, the memory utilization using a, a cat of a proc of meminfo which is uh, having all the information where you can grab for the uh, memory total, memory free and then how much memory has been cached. So you can identify if there are any memory crunch uh, with respect to the computer or the storage cell nodes. And you can also type uh, the VM stat command which will give you uh, pretty much information about the memory. The huge phases is other uh, important component of Xerata uh, where uh, the SGA and uh, the database memory use uh, the huge pages. So you can check uh, the usage of uh, huge pages using a grep of a huge in the proc of meminfo command which will give you how much is the total huge pages allocated and then how much is a huge pages which is free and then how much is a reserved huge pages. And you can also see the huge page size. So the way you need to calculate uh, the free huge pages is multiply uh, the huge pages free blocks multiplied by a huge page size. For example, in this case, you have 2056 blocks which is of 2 MB. Uh, so the multiplying these two will give you the total uh, huge pages which are available. In case if your memory is uh, very low on the servers, then you can reduce some amount of huge pages and then you can allocate it back to the server, which will improve your uh, memory utilization on the server. And then you can also check uh, the various uh, OS and system logs like uh, var log messages or syslog uh, dot uh, configuration, which will give you uh, any information about any corresponding errors in the computer or the cell, so cell storage nodes. Next, we will look at uh, the disk status, which is an important configuration to check in the storage servers. Because many of the scenarios, uh, one or multiple uh, disk uh, that has, uh, goes into an offline mode where you needed to, uh, you know, replace uh, the particular disk. So you can check the status using cell CLI or the DCLI command. So cell CLI is to check uh, the status on that particular storage server. Whereas DCLI, you can uh, check the status of all the storage servers by using a storage group that you create. The commands are pretty similar. Uh, the first one is the list cell detail, which will give you all the details about that particular storage server, where you can check uh, the BBU uh, status as well as the flash cache mode, uh, which has uh, two things, which is uh, write back and write through. So you, it is always important you check uh, the flash cache mode for any performance issues. And then you can type uh, the list alert history, which will give you the information about uh, the, the previous alerts that include cell alerts or the service alerts or uh, even ORA 600, those, those reported will be, those are reported in the uh, alert history. And then you can check the status of uh, the physical disk using a list physical disk. Same way you can check uh, the list cell disk as well as the grid disk uh, with all the various metrics that are available over there. You can also check uh, the flash cache details, which will give you the, uh, the amount of flash cache that are available in the system, etc. And then in case if you want to get a particular metric uh, that is about uh, the IO response time, rate response time or the right response time, you can uh, query the cell CLA and DCLA for the particular collection time, which will give you the information about that particular metrics, which will be helpful to resolve any performance issues with respect to the slow disk and everything. So far, we have discussed about the databases, ASM or clusterware, and we also talked about uh, what are the metrics to be checked for uh, the compute instance as well as the storage server. Now we can look at uh, the InfiniBand or the RockTV switch as well as the Ethernet switch. For uh, InfiniBand switch or uh, the RockTV switch, you can check uh, the IB status command, which will give you the status of the particular switch. And you can also check uh, the IB port using an IB stat command. 
you can also give ib link info which will give you all the detailed uh, port information and uh, the ib host command which will give you all the list of uh, connected ib host and then you can also query for any uh, port errors or anything using an ib query error command so uh, this ib status command uh, that can be run from uh, the compute and the storage node as well which will give you if that particular uh, uh, you know ip connectivity is available on the redundant layer or not for the ethernet switch uh, mostly there will not be any issues but in case if there are any interfaces or anything you can check uh, the show int uh, status command and also you can check uh, the show running configuration which will give you all the configuration about the cisco ethernet switch so we have discussed about the various components and how to do the command line health check of uh, those particular components apart from that uh, there are multiple uh, layers where you can do uh, the common health check um, uh, through gui and uh, cli uh, the first one is uh, of course the oem where you can monitor uh, for all the alerts and you can also uh, route the alerts to your mailboxes in case of any uh, faulty components or any issue with respect to any of the component of exadata apart from the oem uh, the next one is about uh, the ilum so each and every uh, storage server compute server uh, is provisioned with an ilum which is called as an integrated lights out manager uh, which is uh, gui based as well as the command line interface which is available which will give you the complete dashboard about uh, that particular machine it also helps uh, to uh, you know remotely uh, restart uh, the particular machines and then identify for any particular issues through ilum you can also take uh, the snapshot of the particular machine which will be helpful when you work with oracle support so how to connect uh, to ilum is through in case if you are using a gui you can use a browser and then you can connect through ilum ip and then you can give your uh, root credentials uh, which will allow you to a central dashboard where you can have an overall summary about the issue and then all the specific components will be given and uh, you can it will be reported for any particular issues as well in case if you want to connect through cli you can connect uh, using an ssh as a root user uh, through the ip address or the ilum name and then you can type uh, start slash sp slash console which will uh, you know invoke uh, the cli uh, ilum interface for you the ilum can be used to monitor uh, the storage servers and uh, the compute uh, servers and very importantly you can also check uh, the power devices which is a pdu unit which will give you the dashboard about uh, the temperature and uh, what is the uh, power status of uh, uh, the pdu and everything so same like uh, ilum uh, the ipmi tool which will also give you the status of uh, the various components and it gives you the authority to remotely manage those devices so you can use ipmi tool using an ipmi tool command and then you can give a list uh, what are all the alerts and uh, you can also uh, check the status of various components then next we have an uh, fmadm which is a fault management administration command which will give you the detailed information about uh, the faulty component that fault on the particular exadata server be it on the storage server or the compute server so you can use uh, the fm medium using uh, the start uh, slash sp slash fault management slash shell and then you can also give uh, fm medium faulty which will give you all the faulty components along with the detailed error what will be the impact and what is the supposed to be an action that you need to take so this fmadm output that will be helpful for the oracle support in order to replace that particular faulty component and then you can also clear the alert once the part, part has been replaced by the oracle support before we have discussed about how to perform health check at each and every component now we are at exa check exa check is a complete uh, one stop solution for the complete health check about your exadata appliance the best part of uh, the exacheck report is it it analyzes the complete exadata appliance and uh, that includes the databases asm and uh, the infiniband network storage servers and all the things and it will give you the complete information about what are all the checks that has performed and it assigns you the score out of 100 and it also categorizes the number of alerts into uh, critical warning fatal so it can, you can easily assess what is the type of uh, issue that you needed to address it first and with the new features you can also compare the exa check uh, changes 
so it will give you the better idea what are all the things that are uh, recently changed in the excel check so with the recent versions uh, you have an autonomous health framework that included with the excel check report as well so you can install the ahf and then you can also invoke uh, the excel check using the excel check utility that is installed under ahf here is a quick summary about uh, whatever we have discussed so far uh, so excel data has multiple components and you will have to have to perform the health check at multiple layers be it a database or asm or the cluster layer or the compute nodes cell servers and uh, the ethernet and raki switches and uh, the pdus so the various type of uh, scenarios that can be of uh, component status which are up and down or the network uh, one port that can go uh, up and down and then sometimes a listener or the services at the os that can uh, you know go down and then sometimes a disk can go offline that 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 can be checked in the cell servers and then you can also check the ilam on the console errors for the compute nodes cell servers and the pdus and you can also check the alert logs for the various errors in the database and asm and you can check the os logs for the compute and cell servers and the cpu and the memory utilization and other performance metrics that can be checked for the compute nodes and the cell servers finally excel check that can be invoked on the compute node which can do a complete health check of all the components of excel data my sincere thanks to each and every one of you who is providing a great support to our tech tv channel please like share and comment on this video also we are receiving a lot of requests about excel data training so if you have any such queries and like to learn more about excel data you can drop us an email at techtva@gmail.com we will help you better thank you